G'day and welcome to Hogs, Cogs and Two Aussie Flogs, the greatest podcast this side of Tijuana. Well, that's appropriate. <laughs> okay, we can, we, can, we can work with that one. We can. All right, big issue today, mate. Big, big uh, episode today. Aussie Vicklers. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, they're baby. A, they're a pretty bike. And we've got some exponents of Aussie Vicklers. Yep. That are going to come in and have a chat to us and tell us what it's all about to have an Aussie Vickler and what it takes to build one. Yes. And, and that's going to help you because you're in the process, aren't you? Correct. So if, if anybody watches my channel, the Harley Roadshow, you'll know I'm in the process of doing a Vickler using a, uh, an Evo Road King. My advice to you is never, ever use an Evo Road King. If, it's, if, if I can give you any word of advice, do not pick something that old because there's just nothing available. Yeah. However, we're getting through it. But um, we've got some, a really nice bike here today that uh, Chris has brought along, that Reese has brought along, and um, we'll have a look at that later. But uh, we're going to talk about the, the culture, the community, where it stems from, all that sort of stuff. So without further ado, we'll bring in our guest today, Paul oh. and Hi. John or Zanger. Zanger. How are Welcome you, board boys. Hey, thanks for having us. No worries at all. Thank, Thank you for coming. I think you've summed it up very well there. Um, learn from my mistakes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> learn, where, where should you start? What's the first bike you should start with? And yeah, and Evo's uh, not one of them. No, yes. no, no. But I, 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 I was actually told by Romy. Romy, if you're watching, I know I didn't listen. Uh, I was actually told by by Romy, who's a mechanic, said, "Mate, go get a get a twin cam or anything yeah. like that, and uh, and and preferably a soft tail." Yeah. And I went exactly against everything he said because I always wanted the sound of the Evo. Um, but you know what? I love a challenge, and yeah. uh, you it's, know what? it's definitely a challenge. You've got to build the bike for you. Exactly. And, you know, what's the price of being cool? Um, well, you're going to find out. You're going to find <laughs> out. That's, uh, at the moment, the price yeah, is up there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, Aussie Vickers, what, what's... What's the go? What, how did that form? How long has it been going? Well, it was, it was a love story. Um, we both just happened to meet at the same same mechanics. We are both building a Vickler at the time, and neither of us knew what a Vickler was, mm-hmm. really. It was just an, an ideal bike that we were aiming towards. Um, the builder that we had didn't know a lot about it, but would bounce ideas off. And, and one day, he happened to say, that's the bike I'm talking about. It happened to be John's bike up on a lift. Yeah. Um, and I said, well, before he picks it up, um, let me know and I'll come in and, and meet him. He said, oh, I can't, he's, he's picking up this day. And we just had a chance encounter and, you know, we, we went for a ride and we've just cost each other money since then, to be honest. <laughs> because like, he's got, yeah, oh, I've got sounds a, like a love story with a marriage involved. Right. I freaking know all about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so then, look, the, the bikes were already out there, but then the, the community just built from there because yeah. people wanted to come and ride with us and, um, you know, do, do I need a, a finished Vickler to come and, no, well, yeah. first of all, they're never finished. Yeah, yeah. Um, and second of all, no, we're all, we're all on a journey. Well, before, so, we, before we continue and go all about Aussie Vicklers yeah. as a group, yeah. What is a Vickler? Actually, can I, can I ask <laughs> you? <laughs> no, 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 no. So you've got Vickler and you've got Cholo. Yes. yes, yes, what's, yes, yes. Is there a difference? What, oh, what's the correct terminology? Well, as a very white Australian, I don't use Cholo because yep. um, it's not my, my culture. Yep. But um, it's a way that a lot of uh, people with Spanish backgrounds would probably refer to themselves as. Yep. Um, they're often called Cholo bikes. Yep. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, some people would say that's maybe derogatory. Yep. And so we just we just avoid that. Um, but, but a Vickler is, is a style. Yep. And so it's one of those things where we get a lot of people who feel like they need to tick a, a list. Yep. Does it have to have apes? Does it have to have fish tails? Does it have to have a 21 inch front? Does it have to have hydraulics or air ride? And yep. the answer is no and kind of yes. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you can't do a style without having some of those elements. Some of the most beautiful Vicklers out there will have beach bars. Yep. Some of the most beautiful Vicklers out there you know, won't have fish tails, yep. but most of them have those elements. And when yep. you're describing a style, it's one of those things, once you see it, it hits you as yes yep. or no. Yep. And yeah, you've got yeah. to build the bike for you. Because no one else is paying your bills, yeah, but exactly, also exactly. if you, if you want to fit into these categories, there's just so, certain elements, and, and because it's a style, it's progressing. Um, engraving in Australia is huge at the moment. Where I've been in the US for, for years, um, mine doesn't have engraving. Zanger's is top to tail. So, yeah, you know. How far behind are we in that scene in Australia as compared to the states? Oh, look, the, the Americans have been you know, doing it for a, a very long time. Yep. And look, they're, they're the leaders in the world. That's it's part of their culture. Yep. Know, it started off in the 60s in California years ago. Yep. Um, but honestly, some of the Vicklers that we're building here in Australia, mm-hmm. we could take them to America and they would hold their own yep. against some of the best in the US. Absolutely. Uh, there are some amazing Just bikes. Go Aussies. <laughs> yeah. uh, there, there are some amazing bikes here being built in Australia. And, yep. um, uh, you know, we're, we're talking fully custom from mm-hmm. top to bottom not a not a bolt has been you know missed on these bikes yeah. so 
and the Australians, we sort of, you know, we are respectful to the culture, but, yep. you know, some of the guys are, are I suppose, putting the Aussie... Aussie uh, uh, slant you know, on it, yeah. Yeah, putting their own little bit of flavour on it. Yep. Um, still, it's very much a Vickler, yep. but they're changing things up a little bit. Yeah, the Aussie way, I guess. Yep. So um, is, in the States, is it a West Coast thing, or is it a, a nationwide, or is it is it more... Well, it's really interesting you say that, because you can actually see the a massive difference between the East Coast and the West Coast yep. bikes. So quite often you'll see Cali-inspired bikes, so yep. you'll see them where they're running a lot more beach bars yep. and things like that, and then you know, um, there's, a, there's a few guys in New York who do just really outlandish, slap-in-the-face kind of things with yep. 23, 26-inch fronts whereas some people from the the west coast just wouldn't do that yeah, yeah, yeah. at all so um there's definitely um things that come in from different cultures yep. based on where they are but one of the things that we do here in australia a lot of guys like to black their bikes out yes. whereas you you wouldn't have that in the u.s yep. at all and some of that's bleeding through now into um to back over there but yeah most of the time it's, it's chrome tip to tip but yep. but some guys like to black them out yeah mm. no I, I i was in texas a few yeah. a couple of years ago it was it was Big there then, yeah. and that, lots of influence. Some of us, our biggest supporters are from from Texas. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me because yeah, they, they go big. Yeah, the whole <laughs> the whole culture over there is is uh, amazing. I, I love. I mean, I love the music. I love the the, the, the clothing. Yeah. Um, because that the thing with Victor is it encompasses all that, yeah. doesn't it? You've got you've got, you've got yeah. certain <laughs> certain clothing, uh, certain musics. Um, just it just it, it's a whole uh, it, it's a whole package, not yeah. just the motorcycle. Absolutely, and also the way they do things as well. So some people are, are fortunate enough that you know they've, they've been in a job that they can go and say to a bike builder, "Can you build me my perfect bike?" and and just drop some cash. Yeah. But really, the Vickler way, and, and there's nothing against that. That yep. doesn't work into my budget. Yeah. But the Vickler way is that I'll come and help you work on your bike one yep. weekend, and you'll help me with mine. You heard that? Uh, you heard that? <laughs> you don't want me. You don't want me doing that. But that's the way it is. I can you know? put air in the tires. <laughs> you know? but, but that's it. it. It's building bikes in garages. Yeah. It's painting. You know, under a tarp. It, it's it's all of those things. Working on your own stuff where you can. Yep. Now I'm not mechanically inclined. Yep. I can go and work and then pay someone to do that bits and pieces at a time but really that is the culture it's helping people out and then and adding those those flares those touches people who have certain skills who can pinstripe they'll pinstripe everybody's bike people yeah. who can airbrush they'll airbrush everybody's bike um yeah it, it's give and take yeah I'm, I, I, I was on a podcast last night and i must say i i said to the guy as a mechanic i make a great landscaper yeah. so uh, that gives you any idea what my abilities are they're shit house i guess going back to the the whole uh vickler scene in australia versus america do you find it's hard to get parts and stuff here? I mean, they just like, like I said when I was in, in the states, it, it's almost unlimited. Yeah. We're here. It's really, really. I mean, it's, it's lots of online yeah. stuff and all. Isn't uh, absolutely, it? Yeah. and and you know, you, you spend so much time doing research that it will fit, it won't fit. Um, I'm telling you right now that my bike. Um, has some custom parts from Cali that absolutely fit onto my bike. Yep. If you want it to look like a dog's breakfast. Um, a great mate of mine has spent more time customising those parts so that they fit my bike than it took to make them. <laughs> um, whereas if we're in Cali right now, you, you roll in, you, you, the stuff's on the shelf. You yep. can see it there. You can throw them on. You can say it's not the look I'm after. We're, we're talking three or four month wait sometimes with shipping. Uh, easily. And then, and then um, certain things, they, they've got flat rate shipping. Oh, I need one particular small part to, to kind of finish off a look. Yeah, that I'm 90 going bucks for that or 100 oh, bucks. More. And the exchange rate. Yeah. So no, it's, look, it's, it's really, yeah. it's, a, it's a hard one. You've got to, you know, make your mind up exactly what you want and get it done once. So is there any particular um, uh, motorcycle that's easier, in your opinion, to work on? As in, I know, I know, Harley's obviously the predominant thing here, um, but soft tail. Yeah. Yeah. So there is, I suppose, a core. Yep. Uh, generally, you're looking at a soft tail deluxe um, or a soft tail heritage or a row king, yeah. they're generally the three bases that people start with yeah. when they're building a Vickler. Yeah. But we're finding now a lot of people are starting to use soft tail slims because obviously the, you know, the deluxe was finished in I think yeah. 2020, I think was the last model. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, so yes, people are starting to look at different avenues and we're seeing a few slims coming in. Um, but you know, they're obviously changing a lot of the bike to resemble you know, a deluxe or a heritage. Yep. Um, fat boys are up there as okay, well. Yeah. You know, um, some of our most beautiful builds in Australia started off as, as a fat boy. 
Um, you, you can add Vickler style to lots of things. So you could have a street glide or a road glide. It takes a lot more to actually make it Vickler, but you can add Vickler elements to it really, but really those, the, the deluxe, the heritage, the, the fat boy. Are they, are they starting to come into, more, into, the, into the baggers as well? Because there's, there's, there's sort of like that, that you have that crossover. Yeah, yeah, there, is, yeah, yeah. Look, there, there is a bit of a crossover and it is difficult because as Paul said earlier, a Vickler is a style. Yes. Uh, you know, it's a slang term for bicycle. Um, yes. So the perception of every individual can be a little bit different, but um, I suppose the ultra glide, those sort of guys, they're probably more towards the bagger style. Yes. But you are definitely seeing those bikes getting fish tails, you know, some yeah. engraving and some some we, custom. Paint. We, we got a mate who, who's got a trike who's turned it into a trickler. Okay. Um, <laughs> and look, is it Vickler? No, but it's got all the elements. But yeah. at the end of the day, you've got to build the bike for you. And the guys who want to ride baggers, ride a bagger. But, yeah. you know, can they ride with this? Absolutely. But, yeah, it probably doesn't tick the elements of being a Vickler. Yeah. So it's a bit like us, guys. It's about building a community. Um, and I think, you know, the more people involved, the bigger it gets, the better it is for everybody, really. Yeah. It, it, yeah, and that's across the board. You don't have to be... And I'm sure you guys, if you're having a Vickler event, are not going to say to a bloke who rocks up on a on an ultra, sorry, buddy, you can't come in. Not no, at all. It doesn't even have to be a Harley. As Paul said earlier, we're all about the community. Yep. You know, we've got a lot of, uh, I suppose, younger people as well that are coming. We have ladies that turn up as well. You can bring any bike you want to one of our events. So John on his Vespa's welcome? John is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Oh, well, 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 it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, no, has it got one horse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got Vance and Hines on the bike. He's in fit, he can... So, yeah, look, when we're doing a cruise... Mm-hmm. Um, and it's posted on our social media. It's open to everyone. We're just, we're just all about raising the community. There's people that come on. They might have Japanese bikes. They might have a Yamaha. Um, you know, and they just love the Vickler style. And at some stage, two years down the track, you know, they've they've bought their bike to start, you know, turning yep. it into a Vickler. Yep. We're just all about enjoying the culture, the yep. bike. Um, but if it's a show and shine, yep. uh, like what we do with uh, Harley Heaven or at the Nationals, yes. then yes, you do need a Vickler to enter the show and shine, yes. but all bikes are still welcome to come and enjoy the day and the event. We're, we're not bike racist in any way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn up, you know, and just, as Paul said earlier, just bring the right attitude. Yep. So how, how many? How many? Uh, sorry, what? Well, I keep jumping in here, but how, how, just can't a, get a bloody word. I'm just excited about the whole. I just, Are you I just love the cast. No. <laughs> it's not. It's not only him. It's not only him. Come back, mate. It's all right. It's all right. So, with uh, do you have a, a certain amount of meet and greets or like you know get together a year or is it? Uh... Uh, I've been slack this year. Yep. I've, got, I've got two kids under two, so I don't go to a lot of things at the moment. My well, that's an excuse. Yeah, exactly. I, I, went to a couple, I went to a couple of yours last year. Yeah, went, went yeah. to Terrell. Melbourne and yeah. I think was it Danny and I? Yeah. And uh, mate, they're a, they're an absolutely fantastic yeah. mate because everybody's there with good intentions. Everybody's there having a good time, and I could see that that's what you were actually trying to do is build a community around. Yeah, it's around Vicklers, yeah. but it's it's bikers basically, well, we, isn't we it? Everybody so get too. together, and and the problem is is when you hang around with blokes like this, they suck you in. <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, they tell you you're just coming along to have a look, yeah. but you better bring a bloody. Oh, we, we've got to work out how to get the kid back because we've got some people some money, and none of it's ended up in our pocket. Uh, but that, that's exactly it. We, you know, what with our social media, this started off with it was just about building a community. Um, Two guys in a man cave having a JD and said, "Hey, let's create our Instagram page." Yeah. And how, long, how long ago was that? 2019? Late 2019. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And we've been yep. riding together for a little bit. Since Just then. in time to not be allowed to go and ride. <laughs> oh, <that's right. laughs> exactly. we, we took off right. amazingly <laughs> and then we were told to stay home. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it's one of those things where we, we've got fantastic support. I've met some of the best people I've ever met through Vicklers. Before yep. before this, I think I was pretty closed-minded. I was, I was happy to be by myself. I was happy with my own, go to work, and I was happy with my own company. And, and really, I couldn't have been more wrong. There, there's... Some of the people I've met are fantastic. They talk about brotherhood, and you know, it's a bit of a wanky term, but well, at the end of the day, I know 50 people who I've met who I could ring at the drop of a hat and they would give me whatever I needed to help me out, and that's come through Vicklers. Um, we, we just couldn't be more surprised with how many people I've, I've met more dickheads in yeah. everyday life yeah. than I have as bikers. 100%. And when you come to one of our yeah. events, um, 
it, it is genuine that people are just stoked for what you have done to your bike or what you're planning on doing to your bike. We've met a lot of people who then are lucky enough or you know they've worked hard enough that they've got some cars and there's some car clubs um, and some different scenes. And, and the, the feedback to us has been, it's not the same there. Yep. There are people talking about, oh, it's not, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done this and stuff. Yep. And we just find that the attitude and the vibe from, from most people is it's just overwhelmingly positive. Well, I, 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 I've got to say, what, um, I think you contacted me uh, yeah. first. I, 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 I'll tell you why I did, because he posted that he can't wait for his Road King to be finished. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm going to stop you there for a yeah. second. never finished. No, you might enjoy it. You might love it, but finished, come on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I, I just said straight away, I, I, uh, we sort of hit it off online, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, I said, would you yeah, consider coming on the podcast? Yeah, 100%. And, and, and even with, with us, look, yeah. you'd have to say, that, and this is what we're trying to do with this podcast, yeah. is build a community. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. And that's the difference, though. though. The, the bike community, everybody seems, especially uh, the D Twin community, yeah. I would say, everybody is happy to look at your bike and go, that's fantastic. Might not be what I want, yeah. but but if that's what you want, yeah. go for it. Absolutely, and, yeah. and that's that's what I love about. So wherever we pull up is a show. Yep. You got five yeah. bikes, you pull up, you, people are snapping next to, yeah. to look at it. So you don't have to be a Dandenong or a Harley Heaven, no. a Dragon, um, or the Nationals coming up. Yes. It's just 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 parking is a show. But the best bit is I can only afford one bike. Yep. But I get to go and enjoy everybody else's things. I can't afford. Sorry to throw you in, but the the engraving that John's had done mm. on his yep. bike. But I get to enjoy it. So I, I get to ride eight years to build the bike. Yeah. 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 You know, but, and the thing is, that, uh, the wild paint jobs. Yep. My, my bike's black. Yeah. Chrome. People keep saying, when are you going to paint it? Mate, I bought a black bike because I wanted a black bike. Yep. But I love the wild paint jobs. Yep. It's just not for me. Yeah. 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 I can I appreciate it. I think, I think you guys know Narin. Yes. Yeah. 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 We're, yeah. We're, we're, we're up from day uh, one. Day we're one, we're yeah. up at the Rutherford yeah. Rumble. And a bigger gentleman you wouldn't make than they're in. He is an absolute top yeah, one. You say bigger, he's four foot nothing. Yeah. And so, but yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> but just such a nice amazing, bike. Yeah. 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 He's, he got he's a cricket been... to the face the other day. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. One of his students yeah. got a bit overly yeah. carried and, and let go of the butt, yeah. the cricket He's been with us from day one. Our very first ride we organised in January 2020. Yep. Uh, him and his brother-in-law, Blake, they yes. rode four and a half hours in the rain to be to that first ride. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. those guys are amazing. And they're, they're the backbone of Aussie Bicklers. Uh, it's it's, it's um, great to have these amazing show bikes, but it's also great just to have the people that have got you know, a relatively stock bike with a deluxe or they've turned up with something else. It's um, these people are what's created. You know what we are today. So on the with the Aussie Vicklers on the page, have you got um, like a, a, a somewhere people can go to and have a, you know look at guys who who are good painters and and, and places to get paid? Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's I'm slack on that. Yeah, well, but exactly. So one of the reasons we met was for texting because yeah. if you ever contact Aussie Vicklers. It's me. Yep. Generally, if you go through our Instagram, if you go through our Facebook page, sorry, I just don't get the messages yeah. that pop up. But yeah, um, yeah, and I'll always try and provide people with people I would send my bike to because I think that's what we want. Uh, nothing's ever cheap, mm-hmm. and you want somebody who's going to stand behind their work. So I would rather send you to somebody I know. But eventually, we'd like to be able to say, "Hey, guys, tried and true." Yep. If you want to well, we have out. a website, yep. yes. um, and that's still under development at the moment. It's essentially for our merchandise, yes. um, but we do have plans of you know expanding that to uh, having our events and shows and photos. Um, also, having uh, I suppose people within the industry that are painters, that are mechanics, mm-hmm. um, that are engravers. That you know, as Paul said, we've used mm-hmm. and we've trusted, and we know that they're producing good quality work. Mm-hmm. Um, that we can put on our website, so it's like a go-to page. That if someone's just getting into the Vickler scene, mm-hmm. uh, the website can be great, but also nasty as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, not the website, as in the internet. Yeah, yeah. it can be mm-hmm. you know uh, trouble. Yeah. Um, so yeah, people can go to our website and know that these these guys are tried and trusted and a part of the community. You're yeah. going to get good quality work. Now, speak, the, the, speaking of get-togethers and all sorts of stuff, you've got your annual uh, nationals yeah, the coming nationals up. nationals coming up. John has... Uh, so, the na- first of all, the first ride. So, people said, we should put a ride on together. Yes. Mate, the, the, once we got more than four bikes, I could breathe. Yeah. Right, the, <laughs> the first one kicked off. Then then we got asked, would you want to do a show and shine? And so, that kicked off. And then, next thing, we're putting on a, a nationals. Well, I'm the eternal pessimist, and, you know, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Mate, it sells out. Um, John put on an amazing show, and so we're coming up now for our third Nationals. Um, and Gleason's uh, uh, Twin City up yes, in yep. Aubrey-Wodonga have just 
bent over backwards the last few years. They clear out their entire shop for us. They couldn't be more, you know, considerate. Of they, and, and, well, we've outgrown them. So yeah. this year, um, John, where are we going? Well, yeah, look, uh, Gleason's are still going to be naming right sponsors. Yes. Um, so they're the major sponsor. Um, but the Aussie Vickers Nationals this year will be at the Wodonga Ex- Exhibition Centre at yep. the Wodonga Racecourse. Oh, yeah. Fully internal um, show this year. Oh. So, yeah, look, it's 55 metres by 40 metres. Uh, it's heated and cooled, so no matter what day we get in yep. Albury, Wodonga. Generally, yep. the last few years have been 33, 36 yep. degrees. Yep. Um, so it'll be inside. There'll be trade stands. We'll have a couple of food trucks. Um, you know, there'll be various sort of parking outside for cars, for motorbikes. Uh, same thing. Everyone is welcome. Yeah. All bikes. We'll even have two categories this year. So we've grown so quickly that now we need elite class and street class. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, so there'll be a best garage built award this year for the guy that's done everything himself in his garage because yeah. that's. That's the Vickler way. How awesome is that? We want it to feel like the biggest get-together. Mm-hmm. So instead of the, you're going to a show, yep. you're, you're going to a get-together. So the show and shine will be amazing. But then it's the cruise afterwards. Yep. It's, it's getting together um, on the Sunday. It's a week. We actually, it's, it's a weekend. So yep. I've got people who, part of their favourite part is literally, um, I'll, I'll lead up the Victorian boys if they want to go up on the Friday, mm-hmm. show and shine's on the Saturday, we'll cruise in together. And there'll be some people from Sydney who will do the same thing. It's actually the riding there and back is part of their, their favourite part of it. So yeah, it, awesome. it's just we're, 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 the whole weekend. We're, we're, we're going. We're, 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 we're coming along. We're, 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 so, the good thing with the Nationals is you don't need a Vickler that's had a ton of money put into it. The Nationals is all about a Vickler gathering. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you can have a relatively stock Vickler. You're still welcome. This yeah. is all about just enjoying the bike and the culture yeah. and an amazing weekend. You know, a lot of guys bring their partners. They're bringing their children, their dogs. Hey, if you don't want to bring your partner, you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. But this is turned into a weekend. You know, Sunday, there's a cruise, the Hog Club. All bikes are welcome. You know, we pull up in the main street of Wodonga at the market. And the whole town just loves it. We cruise out to Rutherglen at Caffeine and Machine. It's got an amazing motor. Nick? Yes, Nick. <laughs> yes, he's got an amazing motorbike museum. Yep. Puts on an awesome feed for everybody. Um, and then, look, sat- uh, Saturday night after the show, we're going to catch up as a twilight display, I guess, in the main street of Wodonga. Um, they've got a massive big paved area and, you know, all these beautiful lights and the bikes will be set up there. And we've got people from all over Australia, Western Australia, Northern Queensland, Everyone's coming. And so what, what date was it again? Saturday, December the 2nd is the show and shine. Yeah. So, so that's the one that people will need to register for. Once yep. it's, it's up and running, we'll let everybody know. But it's one of those things, You once we put the weekend on and we tell people all these different, you can come to all of it, you can come to some of it, you can come to, it, it's up to you guys to decide what you want to do. Um, the other thing that needs to be registered for is is the actual show and shine. And and we want people show, to, to be in it. You don't want to be the best looking bike in the car park because yep. you didn't think that your bike was, was good enough because if you've been to one of our events, yeah. you, we, we're over Don't ever think that. Don't ever think your bike is not good enough. Yeah. That's, that's not what it's about. How many people are you expecting? Ooh. Oh, you sound like the council now. <laughs> <laughs> Officer. Well, look, um, this year we're, look, let's say we'd like to have 80 Vicklers there mm-hmm. on, on display, um, potentially 100. Really depends on, I suppose, uh, you know, what other people have got on. Um, we can definitely have 80 to 100 Vickers there, no worries on display. 80 to 100. I'm feeling movement. Yeah. And this is only our third year. <laughs> that's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to step away. <laughs> the, re- the, reason, the reason I ask is we're, we're doing a, a brass monkey run yep. coming up uh, shortly, yeah. which we'll talk about a little bit later. And uh, to try and get accommodation for that, because all of a sudden we didn't think that was going to go as well. Yep. as and All of a sudden we had yep. lots and lots of people coming. So, guys, 2nd December, I would highly recommend you start booking or looking at booking now. Yep. Um, because uh, it's a popular area up there and there's generally up in that area there's lots of things on so accommodation books that fast so if you're going to come book your accommodation now or at least start looking um, uh, so you're not disappointed on the when, when it comes along yeah because yeah, because if you especially coming from Melbourne it's a, it's a fair ride to go yeah. up we, and back. we get a lot of people hitting me up um, like I know where to book yeah so, yeah no do your own research yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bookings.com that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, my, that's yeah, my advice yeah. here yeah. No, fantastic well um, uh, I guess uh, we've got, you know, we've talked about lots of stuff. We want to have a look at a bike, don't we? So uh, without uh, here's mucking around too much earlier. more, here's one yeah. we prepared earlier. Let's get Reece in. We had Reese come away, mate. Good mate. Good. Good. Sorry, Good. Sorry. Sorry. Thanks Hello. for coming down. So Thank Reese you. has actually come down from Bendigo this morning. It's yeah. and if you're in Melbourne and uh, around here at the moment, it's absolutely freezing cold. Um, and we'll, we'll have a look at your bike in a second. But yeah. uh, how long have you been working on on, on this machine? 
Uh, it's probably been close to two years, probably 18 months, okay. roughly. So yep. uh, all the Bickler stuff you'll see is probably only done in about 12 months. So, okay. And um, it started off as a? Heritage, just a basic bog stock heritage. So Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to grab the camera and then we'll have a look around this, uh, around this beautiful machine. <laughs> so, Reese, we've got this beautiful, uh, like we said, we've got this beautiful uh, uh, heritage. Now, what have you done to it? Like, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so it's a 05 uh, Heritage Classic. Um, got it locally in Bendigo, where I'm from, and uh, started the build there. Uh, I'll go from the front, and yep. then we'll head back. Yep. Um, DNA wheels. Yes. So DNA 21 fat spoke. Uh, just OEM uh, chrome fender rail. And then you've got like the baseball style visors. Yes. Um, the lights, I'm pretty sure I can remember. They're Advan Black. Okay. Um, then the roll. We love Advan Black. Uh, our uh, nice roll here is from the uh, boys at Aussie Vicklers. Yes. And then we go to uh, Wild One Chubby uh, 16 inch Outlaw Bars. All standard controls. Um, the levers are just like a black slotted eBay special. Um, they just added a bit of contrast up the top. Arlen Ness mirrors. Not the safest things, but look fantastic. Um, and let's face it, it's not about safety, it's about look. No, that's it. It's, it's, the Bickler is all about look, isn't it? Um, and then we went like uh, chrome uh, fork lowers, because yes. the standard heritage ones are just terrible. Yeah. They get all pitted and stuff. Yep. Um, the cans, I originally had like two-inch extended cans, but then um, doing some adjustments to the front and getting it really low, they'd se seem to bottom out a bit on the uh, back roads at Bendigo. Yep. Crash bar, it's a no-name eBay special. Um, looks good. It looks good, similar to like the Factory 47 stuff, which is what I was trying to go for. Uh, your floorboards is all Cyclesmith. Uh, this stuff is fantastic, um, really grippy. So all from the States there. Yep. The engine work is standard. I've, there's no engine work done to it. Okay. Exhaust? Um, exhaust, Cobra. Yep. Uh, it's called the Bad Hombre. And they're 36s? 36s. Yep. Yep. Um, just long enough so that it doesn't scrape too much. Yes. Um, all your dash work, so that's like Harley OEM Taco speedometer. Yeah, and you had, you got, you've got the flush mounted. Uh... Yeah, yep, yeah, Harley flush mount. Um, finishes it up really nice on the tank, uh, rather than like your sort of your big bulbous stuff that comes off there. Now the real cool stuff is the suspension. All right, so one of the really cool things about this bike, as far as I'm concerned, is if you just want to drop your leg down. We've all seen a suicide shifter on the left of a, of a bike, but on the, I saw this on the right-hand side and I thought, what the hell's that? Show us what it is, Fred. Yeah, no worries. How cool is that? Eh? <laughs> air-powered centre stand. And it's, it's not just an air-powered centre stand, but I just love the cool setup of the thing, mate. You know, with the, with the ball on the suicide shifter type leather. Yeah, it's quite unique. Absolutely fantastic. But as I said, you don't want to have to be able to rush away in a hurry, do you? Because it's, how long does it take you to? Uh, fully get it going. Oh, it's, look, it's probably only a minute or so, yeah. but it, it does feel a little while. Yeah. Compared to getting on a bike and just starting and riding but, off. But, so. hey, the stance of the bike Fantastic, yeah. is absolutely sensational. Yeah. When, you, when, you, when you've got it on that centre stand, it just looks sweet. And obviously your lenses and stuff, uh, I, th I saw in the back you've gone to Charlie, is that? Yeah, yep, yep, Charlie craft? stuff, Custom Craft. Yep. Uh, again, so happy, that, like it's Australian product as well. Exactly. Um, so like you said, V-Twin, the parts are pretty surplus, um, but again, like to get stuff that's Australian made yep. and, you know, support where we're from, he does an exceptional job with what he, he can do there. Um, we go to the bags. Uh, being a heritage, the one thing I missed was bags. Yep. I took them off. Like the look, but then you just miss being able to carry a lot of stuff. So, guys, if you don't know, Heritage, is, they come with a, with a leather bag and it just doesn't yeah, look they're, as good. Yeah, they're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they carry stuff, but that's about it. So yeah. I went with uh, Hogworks bags, uh, found them locally through, like, Marketplace. And they're um, extended too, yeah? They're extended, yeah. yeah, four or four and a half inch, I think they yeah. are. And then the paintwork, I went to uh, Mixed Custom uh, Restos. Yeah. Uh, the guy is fantastic, absolute artist. Took so much time getting everything right, uh, pinstriping colour, um, perfectionist. The, he did an exceptional job. It, it, it looks magnificent. Yeah. Um, seat, it's just a bare bones, the pair of bare bones, which is pretty standard for your Vicklers. There's a good story about this seat. Your, your dad did the work. Yeah, yeah. My, uh, my old man, he's a upholstery and motor trimmer by trade, so um, I just hit him up one weekend and we got that done. There is a pillion pad, but I don't run it unless 
the Wolfing. boss is getting on the back. Yep. yep. Um, white balls, pretty typical. DNA on the rear as well. Yep. Um, the we've got the custom like laid back number plate. Yes. Um, I think that's about it, really. Like fender rail at the rear, and then and obviously the, and, and the paint. Who you got? Do you paint on your bags? Yeah, mix mix custom yep. restos. Yep. yep. Um, it's all that's a standard color. Um, I love the color. I didn't want to go too, you know, crazy with pinstriping and stuff like that. Yep. So um, I love it. I kept it, and then he matched it right up. It was um, perfect match. Well, mate, it is absolutely magnificent. It looks absolutely Thank you. beautiful. It just uh, and even when he came in today, it's a bit drizzly outside, so uh, he's he's just giving it a quick touch up. But it, even even with the drizzle on it, it still looked fantastic. So. Uh, Absolute credit to you. It is absolutely stunning. Yeah, thank you very much. Really, really nice. Yep. Right, yeah. So now, as you know, like all these things uh, take money to run, and uh, you know, to, to keep promoting this sort of stuff. So everybody has some merch. These guys have got some absolutely fantastic merch. Um, let's talk about it. Mean, you obviously got the wind cheaters. Yeah. Well, first of all, um, it's now tax deductible if I just wear this all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> we look for merch and things like that. It really just came from people just hitting us up. When are yep. you doing this? When are you doing this? When are you doing this? And we don't put anything out there that we don't wear a hundred percent ourselves to the point where it's, when I'm not at work, it's my uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. Um, and so we wanted stuff that guys can wear while riding. Um, and we know that people are pretty picky on what they will and won't wear. Mm -hmm. So, so it's yeah. got to be good looking stuff. Well, we and the quality, like the quality, quality yeah. is yeah. paramount. We won't release anything unless we're 100% happy with the quality yeah. and, of what's and, being And produced. you know, if you've bought something, especially if, if it was black, yep. you've washed it three times and now it's Gray. black. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you know, absolutely. So, yeah, everything goes through a lot of testing before we put it out there. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, we've got hoodies, t shirts, uh, we had singlets for a while. What about these? Uh, well, cool these vests, you know, one of my favourite parts of the vest is one that actually probably the only the owner only sees. Yeah. Um, and that's actually the uh, Paisley lining there, paying homage to a, to a bit of Chicano style that. there. So, yeah, unless you own one yourself, you probably don't um, know that. Or maybe you're, you're sleeping with somebody who does. So, <laughs> yeah. no, no, no judgment. Look at that. Um, but, so, yeah, all on AussieVicklers.com. So, um, Reese, come in for a second, mate, because you got, you got the um, you got the, the vest on. <laughs> yeah, I do. So we got we got you know a model that we prepared earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Who's coming there? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Sensational vests. Yeah. And what 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 do they cost? Some of that. Oh, well, there's cost and then there's value. Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> so if you jump on the website, they're not they're cheap. expensive. Yeah. Look, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. They're they're four fifty. Four fifty. That's all right. Fifty. But it's one of those things where if you're going to wear that all the time, yep. then then it's paid for. I, I can't remember the last time I walked out of um, larger named Harley stores yeah. without. Uh, breaking the bank. Yeah, no, so, yeah. It's a uh, you know, satin paisley liner, pockets inside, pockets outside, embroidered on the back, not screen printed, beautiful the patch. Even has little side zips here, so you know, over winter, we yeah, yeah. might grow a little bit. Yeah. So, you know, you can open these up and get an extra inch on the sides. Yeah, awesome. my, my zips are always open. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not a winter <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you know, t shirts, we went. Um, once again, because it all comes from, from the community, what yep. they want. Uh, the latest was flannels. Yep. Flannels come out, but then once again, well, we, we put that a little bit extra, so they're all Kevlar lined. And But once again, no screen printing on those. Those are all um, uh, yep. been embroidered. Um, and what was good about board. this yeah, one that. is we've actually had this, this pleat put in here as well because most of us ride with apes. Yes. And the last thing you want to do is pop your arms up and then your, yep. your ass crack's hanging out. Yep. So, yeah, so it, it moves with you. So it's all really, really good quality gear. Fully lined and Kevlar, including the sleeves as well. Yeah, beautiful. And this is this is all available on your website? Yeah, Correct. these were a limited run. Yep. Um, so we'll, we'll do a few more of them. They actually did better than we, than we thought. All right, so uh, we've seen one that's... Almost complete and that absolutely yeah. looks sensational. This also looks sensational, obviously. Yeah. This is Paul's, and Paul stepped out of the camera for a moment so that we can have an unbiased view. Because I'm not going to put shit on my own bike. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, I, I thought the idea would be great if we could walk around Paul's bike and, and look, we all know it's going to need the front wheel. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the, the 21, 22 inch front wheel, it's going to need the fish style pipes. Yeah. What else can you see for well, us? Well, first of all, you've got to build the bike for you, yeah. and you've got to ride it. You've got to enjoy riding it. Um, so if you wanted to go Vickler for this, full Vickler, I think you've done the right steps. First of all, you've hit up Charlie from Custom Craft. Um, you can't get better lenses either. And, and, you know, some people, there's eBay specials out there that have tried to replicate it. 
I don't know if you've ever bought anything cheap for your bike. Yeah. Cheap don't last. <laughs> so you've done the right thing by that. Um, True Line Trimming, done an awesome job here. Advan Black Stretch Bag. So you've ticked a lot of boxes. Um, yeah, I'd definitely go 21 inch at least on the front. Um, and What's then, the most you would go? Well, personally, if you go to 21 fits up stock, yeah. it looks great. If you go to 23, then you need to do a few extra things. 23s look fantastic, extend your fender. Mm -hmm. 23s look great, you have to rake the neck. So have a look at those different things. For me, it's all about stance. Mm -hmm. um, this bike hasn't got that yet, but that's okay because yeah. it's a work in progress. Um, does a Vickler have to have fishtails? No, this would look sick with a set of fishtails hanging yeah. out the back there. I love the fact that you've thought about your missus being on the back and, and looking after her properly. Um, and, and we've talked about paint and I think some, uh, some really nice subtle, some pinstriping on this would absolutely set off the lines that are already there, especially if you're going to keep a black bike. Black bikes look amazing, they get lost, so the pinstriping to show out the curves. Um, just think of it like a beautiful woman. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, the difference between putting her in a moo-moo and, <laughs> and a bikini and the, you know, having the pinstriping really shows off the curves there. Uh, but really, I think where you've started is you've got the bare bones of a beautiful build ready to happen. Um, would I have gone an Evo? No. Do I like the sound of an Evo that I don't have to work on? Yes. So I reckon he's, he's ticking a lot of big boxes on this one. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you very much for coming along and showing us this beautiful bike. Thank you for having us. And uh, yeah. thanks, thanks to Reese for bringing yeah, it down. Yeah. Bring and it explaining to, to us uh, what the whole scene's about. And uh, I, I love the fact that you're building it as a community, yeah. quite frankly, because but the more we get into talking with more and more bikers, that's what they're they're looking for anyway. Yeah. You know, a, a, an extended family as such. Yeah. And uh, you're doing a brilliant job, so well, we appreciate it. We appreciate this. So hopefully, you know, it, you know, it's it's solidified for a few people whether or not they were going to come to the nationals. Yeah. Put it in the calendar. Yeah. Come on down. Yeah. Especially we get a lot of people who hit up who've never been to part of something before. Yeah. A community. They're a solo rider. Mate, this is the perfect thing for that. I promise you will find your people. Yep. That's yeah. the way. Any bike, anyone can welcome me. If you want to drive your car to Albury Wodonga for the Nationals, yep. bring your car. It doesn't matter. Just just get there and enjoy the weekend. Well, there'll be a couple of flogs there, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely be covering it for you. So, uh, yeah, no, it should, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's yeah, going to be great, great weekend. Yeah. We'll, awesome. we'll work on the weather. We'll, yeah, yeah, if you wouldn't you mind. You can finish yeah. your bike. Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah. The, the problem with me is ever I go, I drag a freaking black cloud with me because yeah. it's just, uh, it's always raining wherever I go. Yeah. But uh, yeah, thanks guys, really, really appreciate it. No worries. Thanks. Hey. Thanks. Alrighty, so how good was that, mate? It was fantastic. Now that, now that your new BFFs have just left, <laughs> his new BFFs have just left, maybe I'll get a bloody word in, okay? <laughs> no, that was great fun, mate. So, a couple of little bits of housekeeping. Yep. Um, last week you got a little bit peeved. A bit peeved Still about peeved. having to take Still the peeved. helmet off in, in shots. Well, and you did a call out, I did. a cry, if I could not say, to say, where are these places that are making you wear your helmet? Well, we got some feedback, mate. And they're mainly 7-Elevens. Pretty much everyone, well, everyone that we got feedback on via our Facebook page was 7-Eleven. So obviously 7-Eleven have got this uh, issue. Yep. And uh, I don't. That's why I've never experienced it. I guess, mate, because I don't shop at Seven Eleven. So yeah. So I guess what I'm saying is, don't bother going to Seven Eleven. Seven Elevens don't want to treat us like uh, normal human beings. Well, then yeah. don't shop there. So if you're currently getting your fuel from Seven Eleven, get it from somewhere else. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much of a difference it'll make, but uh, my recommendation is just don't go there. Well, I reckon it'll make absolutely zero difference. But screw them anyway. Yeah, exactly. It <laughs> make me feel better. It'll make me feel It'll make Paul feel better, and yep. that's what we should all be, you know, thinking about. It's all about me. So, um, also last week, we, uh, well, we didn't launch it. We, we actually mentioned that the uh, Can You See Us Now campaign that we're looking at Correct. getting involved in, and we, we put out a bit of a cry for help on our Facebook page again. And again, if you're not in that Facebook page, why not? It's, Hulk Cogs, two Aussie flags yep, on Facebook. It's free, yep. and uh, that's where we're going to utilise that to get a bit of feed, you know, direct feedback and quick feedback from members so yep. that when we do come to do the next podcast, we're not just it's not just us talking. We want to talk on your behalf from what you've already told us. Yep. So jump on there. We, launch, we didn't launch it, but as I said, we, we spoke, we spoke about, it. about it. Where are we at? Um. Again, like we've we've uh, you know, we've, we've talked about what, what we're going to do. So it, it's about raising awareness of motorcyclists, and um, 
Uh, we're going to be doing some short, it'll be, you know, 20, not even 30 second videos uh, for uh, right awareness. Like I said last time, I'm sick of the whole right awareness being uh, one bloke falling off his motorbike in the middle of a street with nobody else around him, which yeah. happens. Oh, never. Yeah, never. <laughs> um, and I just don't think the TAC or um, those sort of bodies have any clue as to what uh, we're all actually thinking or, or trying to do. So um, we'll do the first one first. And we, what we're asking for, if, if, if you know anybody uh, that has a, a, a profile, a media profile that um, rides a motorcycle as well, we'd love to um, somehow get in contact with them. Now, when I say know them, you're sort of going to need to know them. Well, Faye, who's a friend of mine, eh, from Howling Wolf Tattoos that I'm wearing today, as you can see, uh, probably not going to get Jason Moama, Faye, but thanks for the suggestion, love. If you know him, though, <laughs> by all means, give him a buzz for us. Well, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if I knew him. Yeah, so, it's, <laughs> look, we're, we're, we're talking about, um, you know, uh, someone with a profile that they don't have to be a you know, in, in the... YouTuber, motorcycle uh, entertainment business, but yeah, you know, it can no. be a high, high, like a high, high profile doctor or. Uh, you a, say that three times. A high profile <laughs> doctor. Um, yeah, a sportsman. Um, well, that's what we want. We want normal sort of yeah. people. But it, I mean, if, and there's uh, all sorts of people that ride them. I know Darren James, James from Free AW rides. Yep. Darren, if you're watching. We need your help, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and along with lots of others. So uh, we've got some suggestions. We're going to send it, shoot out some emails, see how we go. Because obviously, if we can utilise someone who's got a high profile already, that's going to uh, make a big difference. Yep, hundred you know? percent will. Um, and, and, and we really want, yeah, we really want this to kick off and yep. really raise, raise awareness. So something like that will just help it kick off quickly. Yeah. Okay. And again, talking about that Facebook group, if you haven't. Uh, subscribed yet it's free just jump on and subscribe it, it, it'll help us communicate to you rather than every two weeks we can communicate between those times and get to you uh, some of the information mm -hmm. so that'll come in real handy mate yep. spotify too we have a spotify so if you if you haven't got time to sit here and listen to us rabbit on for uh, 45 minutes to an hour and a quarter depending <laughs> on our uh, how much crap we've got to talk at the time don't worry about it. You can always listen to us in the car because we're on Spotify on both video and audio. And also on Spotify, there's the Hogs, Cogs and Two Aussie Flogs playlist. Oh, yeah. So if you haven't jumped into that, have a look at that because it's got some great music on there. And uh, if you're you know, sitting out working on your bike or polishing or whatever in the shed, whack that on because it's got some really good tunes on there as well. Yeah, if you're giving it a polish, make sure you're listening to the uh, Hogs, Cogs yes, on the Spotify yes. music Even playlist. if you was giving it a polish. But, yes, look. We're equal opportunity uh, employers here. Uh, rallies, runs and events. Finish well, off with your rallies, runs and events for a year. There's one big one. There's only one. There's only one. There's only one because there's only one group of flogs, <laughs> silly enough, to go out in the middle of bloody winter and go riding. And that's the Us. Hogs, Cogs and Suozzi <laughs> Flogs uh, first annual Brass Monkeys run to Bendigo on the 15th of July. It's going to so, be, be a great day. Um, we'll be there from about 11.30 onwards. The guys are staying open for us uh, for an extra, I think they're staying about 2 o'clock or 2.30 or something. Yep, 2.30. Uh, and then afterwards, you'll have a bit of uh, free time. Then we've got the uh, pub afterwards, which is at uh, Jun Junitown, Junitown. Um, just, out of, just out of Bendigo, um, which is the local watering hole for all the guys at Empire Harley-Davidson. Um, so get along there on the 15th. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great night. Uh, there'll be lots it's going to be an awful lot of fun. Yeah, it's going to be a lot Everybody's of fun. welcome. Lots of stories told, lots of bullshit spoken, but uh, it, it'll be a great night. So we're looking forward to that. I think at the moment there's about, how many coming? Is it? I think we've got about 25, 26 coming at the moment. So yeah, it should I, be good. It, probably, it'll probably end up being more than that, so it's going to be a great time. We'll have prizes to give away um, on the day, a couple of uh, different things we're going to give away. We'll, you know, there'll be some audience interaction there. Um, so, yeah, make sure you get along with that because it's going to be a great yeah, day. Expect to get a camera thrust in your face at some stage because uh, not phone. only will we be there, but uh, Eamon's going to join us yes. from Old Not Dead and Lizard, Lizard's yes. son of Anarchy YouTube channel. So uh, there'll be cameras floating around everywhere. So, <laughs> again, the little moustaches if you need one, guys. Okay. Yes, yep. So apart from that, that's uh, basically it. We'll wrap it up for this episode, mate. Yep, well, I've got nothing else, so that's it from me. That's it from me. And that's it from us. And that's it from Hogs. Cogs. And, and two Aussie, Aussie flogs. flogs. Ciao.